walking. Those two and fro and carried about with every wind. Did you see? Not doctrine. It's wind. It's not doctrine. What many people have is wind. Wind in the name of doctrine. And you know what a wind does? It comes and goes. It, it's, it's not consistent. One time they will tell you COVID, COVID vaccine is antichrist. Once you take it, you have 666. After a while, it will be gone. New things will come up because there are winds. And I asked somebody, somebody said, once you take the COVID vaccine, you have, you're going to hell. And I said, what are you talking about? How can technology destroy eternal life? The life of God in you will be destroyed by a scientific calculation. Then it was not the life of God at all. Jesus said, I give unto you eternal life, and you shall never perish. None shall be able to pluck you out of my hand. My Father that gave you to me is greater than all, and no one is able to take you out of my hand. So how can a scientific formulation destroy what Jesus acquired three days, three nights? It's a wind that is passing because it's not going to stand the test of time. And there are so many people, that is where their theology stops at. Wind. Wind. Today they will tell you Israel, Israel, Jerusalem is where we should be looking at. Once it is in Israel and Jerusalem, that's the way God talks to the church. How, what are you talking about? Jesus broke the middle wall of partition. There's no more Jew, there's no more Gentile. Jesus destroyed all that dichotomy and brought Jew and Gentile together. And out of Jew and Gentile brought out a new kind of humanity that never existed before. The born again man is not a Jew, it's not a Gentile. It's a new kind of humanity that the earth never saw before because this born again man came out of his resurrection I don't have to go to Israel for anything I don't have to if I go to Israel I'm going on tourism I'm not going there because there's anything in Israel what is in Israel is in everywhere else their water is the same worldwide there's nothing unique about the water in Israel river Jordan is not unique there's nothing on Mount Zion I am the Zion if you're looking for the mountain to go to, come to me. I am Mount Zion. I am the city of the living God. I am the heavenly Jerusalem. Am I talking to somebody here? These are the realities of the scripture that a believer must be taught so that he's not tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind. Are you following? Now, Watch that Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14. He now says, he says, every wind of doctrine by the sly of men and cunning craftiness. These guys are craft masters. The way they will work your emotion with scriptures, you wouldn't know where your money leaves your pocket. Because they are craft masters. Cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. That's why after a while you see believers feeling used and deceived. Because lie does not last forever. After a while it will be exposed. Are we teaching here? Now, Put, put, put your finger, if you have your Bibles open to that verse of scripture, flip with me to Colossians chapter 2 verse number 6. Colossians chapter 2 verse number 6. As you have therefore received, received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him as you have received him. The same way you received him is the same way you walk in him. How did you receive Christ Jesus, the Lord? Put your finger in Colossians, flip to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2 verse number 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Next verse, not of works, not of works, lest any man should boast. 
How did you receive Christ Jesus the Lord? By grace through faith, not of works. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6. Let's go back there again. Colossians 2 verse 6. Verse number 6. As you have received Colossians chapter 2 verse 6. Not Ephesians. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6. 6 not 7. Verse 6. Good. As you have Ephesians again. <laughs> Colossians 2 6. As you have received Christ Jesus the Lord. So, walk in him. How did you receive Christ Jesus, the Lord? By grace, through faith. How do you walk in him? By grace, through faith. Now, observe the next verse. Rooted. Rooted. Verse 7, Colossians 2, 7. Rooted and built up in him. That is the fruit of discipleship. That is what discipleship will produce. Rooted and built up, not in church, in him. Him who? Him Christ Jesus, the Lord, whom you received. Rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith. But look at how you will be rooted, built up, and established. As you have been taught. Go teach, teaching them as you have been taught. So what do you do? Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yeah, you abound in what you have been taught with thanksgiving. Are we teaching good this morning? Yeah, because look, you can't raise disciples if you're not, if you're not, if you're not giving to teaching. You've got to teach. Look at the next verse. Oh, glory to God. Beware lest any man spoil you. After he says you'll be rooted, built up, grounded, as you have been taught, abound there. He now says there are spoilers. You beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Through what? Idle fancies. Plain nonsense. When praises go up, blessings come down. Philosophy. Nonsense. Idle fancies. They sound fanciful. But they are empty. Don't be spoiled. Don't let anybody spoil you. Stay in what you have been taught. It can be boring. Doctrine is boring. It's boring because it's the same thing we're saying over and over again. It's not exciting. That's why the Bible says the time shall come when they shall not endure sound doctrine. Because doctrine has to be endured, not enjoyed. Brother Paul says, <laughs> it, is, it is not grievous for me to say the same things to you. In fact, for you it is safe. It is safe for you that every time you are hearing the same thing. You come to church and hear the, 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 the digital intestines of Lucifer. <laughs> and you go like, wow, 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 this is deep. This is deep. <laughs> what is deep about the digital intestines of Lucifer? What's deep about that? <laughs> Which scripture are you going to read? You know? <laughs> oh, incubus and sickibus. When you start dreaming and see yourself having sex in a dream, there's a spirit called incubus and sickibus. You need deliverance. What? So, when such things come to you, it makes you unsure of what you have. So that's, those are the kind of people Brother Paul will say, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that has called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel which is not another. But there will be some that will trouble you. They trouble you. They make you unsettled. 